Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, Antonelli here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How we doing? Man, Antonelli here. So today, we're talking second base position. Um, I got this question on when do I turn towards my glove side on a double play feed, okay? So there's a runner on first. We're going to have a double play feed, the second base, which is this way. And there's a lot of different ways to turn double plays. We've already talked about balls at you or to your right. You're going to underhand um, flip, or you can power feed on certain balls. We've made a video on that. Balls to your left, you're going to pivot your feet. Um, but then you have this ball right here where it's kind of like an extended forehand play. So you're you're moving hard to your left. And you can see here she turned glove side. Now why does she turn glove side? Let's play it actually in normal speed. Okay. So why does she turn glove side? So here's the rule. And we actually talked about this because this uh, we talked about this already in another video. Um, not regarding double play fees, but just regarding extended forehand plays. Here's the general rule. If you feel the ball moving to your left, extended forehand, and you can see here it's actually, it's not super extended, but she feels this ball. If you draw a line, and this one's pretty close, but if you draw a line straight through you, okay? I know that's not the greatest angle right there. It's probably more like that. But if you field this ball and you are slightly behind or behind center, then you're going to turn glove side. If you field it in front of that line, then you can turn inside and throw. Okay? Now, this also makes it a little bit, she fields this ball a little bit uniquely, where she's coming here and it's one of those balls where it's not fully extended, but you know, it's it's off to her side, but she has her back, right, her back to second base, right? So in in this position, it's, it's probably even more, if it's anywhere close to center, turn glove side, right? If you do feel a bit out front, though, you can turn inside. The, the main rule is that you want to use the ball's momentum to turn you, right? So... Here comes the ball. If I cut it off in front, well, now my momentum is moving this way. I just continue that way. If I feel the ball, like I said, about even or behind even, then I'm going to use the ball's momentum to go that way. Right? It doesn't make sense at this point to stop and then try to come back this way. Just let the ball's momentum take you. You're going to turn glove side. Your footwork is essentially replacing your feet. So it's just a pivot. You're going to take your right foot and you're going to put it to pretty much where your left foot used to be. And then you're going to take your left foot and you're going to line up to your target. And this footwork, we've talked about it before. When you go right to left, left to target, that sets your body in position to throw to any, any base. All right, so I want to go this way, the quickest way, right to left, left to target and line the throw. Show it one more time. Let's show it regular speed again. Watch the footwork. So it's the quickest way, only two steps to get your shoulders and your body aligned to where you want to throw. Okay, so hopefully that helps you. I just wanted to make a quick video on it because I got a question about it. And again, typic typically you're going to see this play made a little bit more extended, um, but she kind of slows down a little bit. Again, if you start to slow down and then you can feel this ball out in front, like I said, turn this way. That's what you'll see a lot of times. Um, she decides, she kind of slows down, but she s decides to still play the ball off to the side. She allows the ball to get to her. Okay, now I just keep allowing the ball to turn me right to left, left to target, make the throw. All right, so that's all we have. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped you out. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell. Um, give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. I'd really appreciate that. And we'll talk to you later.